Kellogg N. Fairbank, Head of Global Business Development at Nash, Easy to Use Non Custodial Cryptocurrency Exchange and Wallet. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Kellogg Fairbank, and I'm in, uh, incredibly excited to share with you today uh, Nash's mission of bridging the gap between fiat and crypto. Uh, in other words, between traditional and decentralized finance worlds. So uh, before we get into that, what I'd like to do is uh, uh, just talk a little bit about some of the trends that we've seen and uh, what we like to consider uh, finance 2.0 infrastructure. So uh, we are, you know, uh, over the past few years, we've seen a, uh, a very strong demand in, uh, in digital banking. So global neo banking, neo banking uh, means new banks. So digital banks uh, is valued at around 35 billion in 2020. And the growth rate is about close to 50%. Uh, for uh, 2021 through 2028. Popularity is driven primarily by the speed, convenience, there's low fees, uh, there are better interest rates. And what we also see, and this is something that you know uh, started in the summer of last year, uh, 2020, and has really grown and, and, and uh, uh, turned into something is DeFi, right? So March of 2020, the total value locked was around a billion. And it's now ballooned or grown to uh, over 40 billion uh, as of uh, as of March uh, this year. Uh, banks across Europe are now charging account holders negative interest rates. So here in the Netherlands, we are being charged negative interest rates for over a certain amount of money. So we really feel that digital banking and DeFi uh, are uh, you know the the finance 2.0 infrastructure. So. When we talk about DeFi, decentralized finance, what are we talking about? And what are the current barriers to entry? So I would say that seed phrases are uh, one of those, right? So uh, uh, seed phrases and, and browser extensions, you know, MetaMask are not accessible to retail users. I would say high transaction fees on the Ethereum network. So for hopping between yield pools, There are no direct connections. So uh, I, I guess the, the best way to describe that is that you know you connect to a sex, so a centralized exchange, uh, exchange dollars for crypto, and then transfer to a self-hosted wallet. The non or the non-compliant DEXs, so Nash is regulated and compliant, but the other non-compliant DEXs are not trustworthy for retail users entering the crypto uh, space for the first time. And user experience or the UX needs to be improved. And that is especially true. I mean, if you look at uh, the space today, uh, it is very, uh, you know, non-technical. I mean, it's, it's, it's very technical, right? So it needs to be non-technical. So the interfaces are something that really can be improved upon. And what we do, what we see is we see a huge uh, gap in the market. We, uh, we really feel that providing digital banking services that make access to DeFi, so decentralized finance, as simple as depositing funds in a savings account is the future. And with that, what I'd like to do is present to you what Nash uh, is all about. We are a crypto first digital bank, and we are helping to bridge the gap between crypto and your local currency. We are uh, essentially helping to unbank the bank. We're catering to a growing crypto market. And, you know, if you look at crypto, uh, you know, uh, in pre-2020, uh, we were about 50 million users and we've grown to about 100 million in 2021 so far. Uh, to reach the next milestone of a billion users, we really need apps with better UX. Um, we need to uh, combine fiat banking, so uh, offering bank accounts uh, that also provide access to a fiat crypto gateway for investing. And 
the ability to provide DeFi, so decentralized finance for savings, lending, and borrowing. So we are helping to make DeFi accessible to not only people that are in the space today, but also to a much greater audience. And, uh, and we're looking to bridge that gap between the old and new financial systems. So the old being traditional finance and the new being decentralized finance and offering that user access to both uh, in a single seamless platform. So we are uh, you know, uh, pr providing uh, the, uh, uh, you know, plugging into DeFi, right? Uh, so direct deposit directly from your bank account to a crypto powered, uh, let's call it savings account with UX uh, that, um, uh, you know, is, is very similar to traditional banking itself. We're going to be providing a fiat gateway. So instant crypto purchases at 0% fees. Funds go to uh, a non-custodial wallet controlled by the user and is secured by MPC, so multi-party computation. We will be providing traditional bank accounts, so full national currency accounts with IBANs, just like other digital banks. And we'll be providing a debit card, so uh, the ability to spend crypto and cash anywhere, earning rewards on every transaction. On the business side, whoop, Oh, sorry. On the business side, we will be offering uh, uh, two services. One of them is a white label Fiat gateway. And the second is uh, Nash Link, which is our solution for merchants to accept crypto. Uh, today, I'll be talking about our white label Fiat gateway and what we like to call it is third party Fiat ramps. Um, So these third-party fiat ramps. Uh, this is something that, um, just to give you an example of why, you know, to give you some some context as to uh, why we really understand ramps is when we first started out as a non-custodial decentralized exchange in 2017, uh, we, uh, you know, looked to partner with a with a a bunch of uh, of third-party fiat ramps for our service to onboard users onto the exchange. Uh, it was, uh, to say the least, it was not a pleasant experience, and and it's something that we've decided to uh, to scrap and then go out and build our own. Uh, we have the licenses in place, we are regulated, and we feel that we actually really are the best party to be able to partner with in order to ramp that next billion users uh, onto uh, onto the platform. Uh, Looking at uh, others in the space, you know, uh, uh, with us, if you're buying on our, you know, uh, in the wallet, uh, in the Nash app, or if you're buying uh, on the platform, you are uh, for BTC, ETH, uh, and uh, uh, NEO uh, and USDC, you are uh, paying 0% fees. Uh, the transactions are instant and they go directly into your wallet, only you control. Um, with the uh, third-party uh, fiat ramps, uh, those are, you know, we're partnering, partnering with uh, DeFi protocols and that type of thing. Uh, fees will be 1% uh, across the board uh, for any any uh, uh, tokens that are in our wallet. So if you're looking at this, if you spend 500 euros with Nash, uh, you're, you're receiving 495 euros, and that is 20 euros more than any of the competing uh, third-party fiat ramps across the board. So 1% fee, 0% markups, and 0% markups on the network fees as well. And what we've noticed is we've done a number of different calculations across the board is that a lot of these uh, providers will provide, uh, will do a markup on the network fees or markups on the price that you're acquiring itself. So if Bitcoin is today 40,000, uh, then uh, you know, they would charge a 41,500. Uh, uh, or 42,000, and um, uh, that's just not right. And we 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 want to uh, you know help fix that. So for the retail side, as I just mentioned uh, mentioned, we uh, provide a gateway to DeFi. So we offer zero percent fees on BTC, ETH, and NEO, which is possible due to our layer two exchange. 
we offer uh, just 1% fees on other assets not integrated into our exchange. So as I mentioned before, we offer BTC, uh, ETH, and NEO, and those are 0% fees when you buy uh, via our uh, Nash app, uh, and 1% fees on all other uh, uh, tokens. Purchases go directly to a wallet only you control. And to give you an example of uh, how uh, this works versus Coinbase, who is probably one of the, the better known uh, providers in the space, uh, with Nash, when you're spending a thousand euros to buy BTC, uh, you are receiving this amount, right? So 0 0.02497. Uh, at Coinbase, you're receiving a considerably less amount of BTC, and that is 0 0.02373, right? Uh, what I do want to point out is that our price, which is the Nash BTC rate, is 40,042, and the Coinbase price is 40,523. Both of these purchases happen at the exact same uh, same minute, let's say. Uh, but it's an equivalent savings of about 50 euros when you're when you're spending a thousand euros to buy BTC. So I think this is uh, some news that uh, that uh, uh, folks are very interested in, in learning more about uh, who Nash is integrating with, and I'm happy to uh, uh, make. Uh, known that we will be integrating uh, Aave onto the platform. So Nash is integrating with Aave. The Aave token will be one of the first new assets to be added to Nash, tradable direct from user wallets through our Fiat gateway. So the savings integration will uh, uh, happen in Q2, and uh, the uh, Nash will also integrate uh, Aave's technology. Uh, as the basis of our easy to use high yield earnings options with rates uh, matching Aves. And we really have sort of the same ethos, if you will. So uh, we are helping to make DeFi accessible to everyone. So one click transfer of fiat currencies to a high interest DeFi earnings account. We will be providing, you know, directly connected to your Bash Nash Bank account coming later this year. And lastly, the easiest way to earn interest in DeFi. We will make it as easy as one click, uh, uh, you know, from Euro, so fiat currency, to a savings account. And then we'll pr be providing fiat ramps. So our fiat ramps provide low fees, as low as 1%, fast instant delivery with no withdrawal logs, and we conduct KYC AML and we've worked with uh, regulators since 2017. With that is my uh, presentation. So I really wanna thank uh, everybody for, uh, for paying attention. And uh, if you have any questions, please do uh, you know, visit our Twitter, uh, Nash Social, or, uh, or our Telegram, which is Nash Social as well. Thank you.